What's up, y'all? We Sports Midsummer Clinic, man. We're getting here trying to um, help out the kids, help out the growth of the uh, overall area, man. Bring the game of baseball back. So uh, right now, we're gonna take them through uh, some of our some of the workouts we do, pro style workouts, uh, and just overall what to expect from these uh, clinics that are getting ready to go to. So uh, thank y'all for being here, and uh, hope y'all enjoy. Yeah, yo, 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 yo. Alright guys, real quick man, we're gonna start with a little jog, we're gonna run down there, I'll run with you. Alright, today, let's hustle man, you know what I'm saying, let's, let's get our feet moving, our blood pumping. Uh, man, it's gonna be a fun day, alright, so we're gonna try as much fun as possible. So, let's start off man, let's get a little jog, come on. Press it up man, high performance, on a day to day basis. Then you go rotation here, alright, small, and go big. Okay, all right, chill. We'll go backwards, small, go about five count here. Go big, real big. All right, loosen the rotator cuffs up, all right? Here we go. Get here, get your core, hip flexion. Here, you guys understand, this is where all your power comes from, it's right here. The way you up and your core. All right, your trunk is where the power is going. The core helps you transfer. When you guys are hitting and throwing, this is that motion, and this is how you transfer. You gotta have a strong core. Make sure you guys are flexing and everything. Okay, you're still up top. Here, all right? Buck and dumps. Okay, Big thumbs up. Go here. Okay, for your pitchers, this is good for your rehab. You get a dumbbell, about two pound dumbbell. You can sit down or stand up. All bucket dumps. Just imagine you're dumping bucks of water down your back. Okay? We feel it in our shoulders here. You should feel it. Okay? Alright. Now let's get into our legs a little bit. Straight down the middle. Okay? Alright, come up. Rest. Go again. Stretch the inside. Side stretch. Both sides. Okay, stay low. Drop it here. Whoa. All right, that's all we're doing. Very simple. Stay low. Feel the activation of your quads and the glutes here. Here we go. Whoa. Don't cross. Don't cross, Kevin. Here we go. Hands up your knees. Y'all need water? Get some water. Get some water, meet me back here. Here we go. We're gonna line up here, all right? We're gonna work on this. Okay, so loading up. As if you're hitting, right? Loading up on the back hip here. Free torque. And then it that way. Release, okay? You get to a certain point, this is for arm strength. Rotational power. This is core, trunk rotation. Right? So we want to get here and pull it from our hip. How do we swing a back? How do you swing your back? From your hip. Right? You get here, drop this back leg, turn the barrel, and you're here. Right? So we can learn to do the same thing with a medicine ball. Theoretically, our power should go. That's what I think of, anyways. Or if you like Dragon Ball Z, Kamehame. I mean, I, I'm, I'm not embarrassed though, so y'all don't want to talk about it, that's fine. Let's go. Let's go to the hip. Alright. Okay, right, that's that hip, right? Bottom half. Just kind of pull it that way. Oh, here. Boom. Turn your hip. Okay. Right here, that's straight over. You're trying to go for distance, or you can go for height, uh, for height, which is a little more your launching power. Okay. I usually like to go for height. 
hand dip, right? Just here. All right, you just try to throw it as hard as you can, as hard as you can. Make it look good, here we go. Not bad, not bad. What's up, you guys all vegan? Oh, you chicken? We got burgers, hot dogs, all that good stuff. So y'all, try to put in this work, man. Try and get it in, so. A lot of things you can be doing to condition yourself, weight room, all that, so that's what we're trying to do. We got a long day of baseball, so we got plenty of time. Get yourself stretched out real quick. We're gonna add some each, we're gonna run it twice. I want you guys to pair up your position or your speed. Really short stuff here, okay? Oh man, I want the little guys to run together, but it don't matter. All right. Ah. Hey, so let me talk to you guys about the 60 real quick, all right? You guys are getting ready to go to workout showcases. I'll be honest with you, the 60 is cool, but it's not that big to do. I'll be perfectly honest with you. It definitely helps for you outfit. Like if you're a first baseman, pitcher, catcher, they don't care about your first base uh, 60 time. Middle infield outfielder, they, they want to see how quick you are, right? But at the end of the day, it comes down to playing the game. So if you're going to a showcase where you're expected to play a scrimmage, live scrimmage, it's more important to focus on that. So 60 is going to be the first thing you do. If you don't run a great 60, do not beat yourself up. Don't be like, you know, oh, I lost it. Pick it up in the other stuff. The 60 is probably the least out of everything they're worried about. You feel me? There's nothing. So we're going to line it up here. Obviously, the cones. This is something you can incorporate in base runner, too. Well, I always learn that, like, they'll have you line up here. Here's a little, here's a little trick. Base runner and runner your 60. Normally, you're like this, right? Take this foot and open it up. Why do you think you do it? Right, okay, I mean, it's, it's obvious. Okay, so you're here, you gotta step normally to try to get your hips open. But if you start slightly open, not big like this, but like slightly, it just makes it easier to get that hip around. And it makes you a little bit quicker. And then when you're running, don't start wide open. Wide open, you start here, and you wanna stay there. And as you build speed, then you kinda transcend into higher, uh, you know, running full speed, heads up. That makes sense? Okay, so. We're gonna run the 60. I'll let you guys run running. All the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. And, uh, outfitters, if you're anywhere between about a 6'3, 6'4, and a 6'7, right? That's typically pretty good. 6'7 is a little bit on the lower side of that, of that spectrum, right? So you're talking about your, your Hamiltons, your Mookie, your, those guys are in that 6'4, 6 6'5 6 range, right? Your infielders. Your infielders are probably gonna run you about 7'1, 6'9, about 7'2, 7'3, right? Little end guys. Catchers, first baseman, I mean, they're sliding. You know how that goes. So, uh, so when you think about that, you know, you gotta have numbers so you can look at where you're at on that spectrum. You can be working on your agility and your speed, right? So, like I said, it's, it's, it's a big deal, but then it's also not. It really comes down to the game itself. You're doing this right here, and you're gonna start pressing. Get that, just build the ground, feel where your power is. Okay? That's all it is. And then when you start to develop, you take a couple steps back, you can rotate a little bit, and then do that. Okay? So, there's something I see, like, you know, even in the hitting, uh, when it comes to hitting, you know, we're not using our legs. We're so conscious of our own strength. We're too conscious to the point we're just focusing on that. We think that all of our strength is this, and this, and this. Right? That's our problem, you know, and it, it's kind of an ego thing as men, you know, as boys, men, you know, we, we see guys like Schwarzenegger, all, they all have huge chests, they have huge arms, so in our mind, we think that all of our power comes from bench pressing, curls, things of that nature, that's, that's actually not even, it's not even any power there, 
what real power is, is like it's your kinetic chain. The kinetic chain is something that starts with your feet and that builds all the way up through the body. Okay? So the sooner we understand that our, our true power is starting from the bottom up. And this, all of this right here just helps us to get it across. It just adds to it. But if we can understand how we use the bottom half of our bodies when it comes to hitting, pitching, and throwing, that's when you're you guys are gonna take off as players. Okay? So we gotta get in that mindset of, you know, just understanding that this is this right here, building that tension up, is what's gonna get you guys to really get stronger. This is how I learned, this is how I learned, okay? You guys throwing right here. So you start right here, over the top. And it's just wrist. Everything is a build-up. Everything is a build-up. Just right here, wrist. Okay? Try to hit that glove. Here. Just wrist. No arm, no nothing. Do me. Jump back, and then throw. That's a bad throw, but I'm better than that. Yeah, that's all it is. This right here, 